Hello guys and welcome to another interesting video. We have this question right here, pretty interesting one. Even though it looks like an exponential equation, but it's never exponential equation. This is a titration problem where we have four titrated to x titrated to two, or we can say that x raised to the superpower x raised to the superpower two, and this is equal to 256. Of course, we are looking for x. Before we go into that, Pause the video, relax, and give it a try first. And if you are done, you can get back to the problem. Like I said, this is a titration equation, so we can never take log in order to drop this power down. No, we can never do that. Let's do this instead. Let's rewrite 256 in such a way that we have a base of 4. Is that possible? Let's check it out. 4 times 4 is giving us 16, which is never closer to 256. So I'll go ahead and then multiply this one by 4 again, and we are getting, I think, um, 64, I guess. Yeah, 64. Still, we are not close to this 256. So I'll go ahead and then multiply by 4 again. Now let's see this one times 4. We are going to have 16, remainder 1. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1, 25. And we are there. This means that we can write the whole of this as 4 to the fourth power. So in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put this. Let me do that really quick. We have 4 to the fourth power. Then the left-hand side, we have 4 titrated to x titrated to 2. As simple as that. Now let's check this. The bases are the same though, but we can never equate their powers. Simply because on the left-hand side of the equation, we have titration term. On the right-hand side, we have exponential term. So they are not equal. We can never equate their powers. This is what we have to do instead. I'll keep the left-hand side, which is 4 titrated to x titrated to 2. Then the right-hand side, we can then rewrite this in the form of titration. This is obviously the same as 4 titrated to 2 because whenever we have, let's say, m titrated to 2, we can rewrite this as m to the power m. So this is pretty much it, right? Now check this. This time around, the bases are the same. Of course, we can now equate their powers. So we are going to have x titrated to 2 is equal to 2. Pretty interesting one. Now check this. We have x titrated to 2 is equal to 2. And of course, we can rewrite this in this form once again, which is obviously going to be x to the power x, and this is equal to 2. And this time around, we have a very nice exponential equation. Now, to solve this one, first of all, we need to drop this power right here down. And to drop this, is either we take log or natural log. But I'm going for natural log because I prefer that one to log, right? So we take log on each side of the equation. And of course, this power right here will move to the front like that. So that we are going to have, let me get rid of this one quickly. And now we are going to have x ln of x, and this is equal to ln of 2. Pretty interesting equation. Now let's consider the left-hand side of the equation. It seems there is no way to come out of this problem. But remember, Lambert W function is always there to make a way where there seems to be no way. Let's check this. I will see this x right here as e to the power ln of x simply because this e will cancel out this and we'll still be getting our x back. So we have done nothing to this x, right? Then, of course, times ln of x right here. And this is equal to ln of 2, as simple as that. Now, permit me to bring this ln of x to the front right here. I will explain to you later. We have ln of x times e to the power ln of x. And this is equal to ln of 2, as simple as that. Now check this. Whenever we have any input such as t e to the power t. Now if we take Lambert W function on this input right here, we are still going to get our t back. It's either this or this. Any one of them, of course, what we need is we are getting one of the t's right here. Pretty interesting. Now the reason why I brought this right here to the front is that I just wanted this one right here to look just like this input so that we can take Lambert W function on this to get one of these. Pretty nice, isn't it? So now that we know this, we can actually take Lambert W function 
on this equation right here, right? So that just like this one right here, we're going to be getting one of these. So I will just put that down, ln of x is actually equal to the Lambert W function of ln of 2. As simple as that. Now, it seems there's a problem again. We are looking for x and not ln of x. How can we get rid of this ln? To get rid of this, we need to, of course, take e on each side of the equation so that, again, this e won't do this and we'll get our x back. So we're going to have x is equal to this right here. That is e raised to the power w of ln of 2. As simple as that. Of course, this is our answer to the problem. But one way to write this is this. Let me get rid of this one really quick. x is equal to natural log of 2 divided by Lambert W function of ln of 2. As simple as that. This is W. Cool. Now, if you use a calculator for this, of course, not any other calculator, but you can have Wolfram Alpha, which can compute the whole of this. If you use a calculator for this, you get x approximately equal to 1.55961. This is what you are going to get. Those of you who don't know how to compute, I think I can help you out. In order for you to compute this one in Wolfram Alpha, let me show you really quick. If you want to compute this right here in Wolfram Alpha, this is actually going to be e then raised to the power parenthesis product product log in parenthesis this right here ln of two. You close it, then you close it again because we have two parentheses. So this is how to compute this in Wolfram Alpha. So guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you found the video useful. Please, please, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more and see you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take good care of yourself and bye-bye.